then you're going to lift the weight up above your head and from there you're going to drop the weight down towards behind your back. So dropping it down, keeping your elbows tight towards your head, not letting them flare out and then you're going to lift back up and squeeze at the top. So it's dropping down, keep your elbows tight and then lifting back up, squeeze and lift into your triceps. And that's the two hand each tricep extension. Okay everyone, the next exercise today is alternating dumbbell shoulder press. So to start off, you're going to bring your hands up and line with your shoulders. And we're going to do one at a time. So you're going to press one arm up towards the ceiling and bring it in slightly. And then as you bring it back down, you're going to swap arms onto the other one. So bring it up and together. And then controlling that as you come back down. And swap it again. Bring it in slightly. Making sure that it doesn't come forwards. You need to keep it in line with your shoulder. And that's the alternating dumbbell shoulder press. Okay, everyone. The next exercise today is the dumbbell alternating arm on press. So to start off, you're going to bring your dumbbells up to face you, shoulder width apart, and from there we're going to do one arm at a time, raising up in the air and twisting it out as if we're doing a normal shoulder press. Making sure your palms facing away from you, and then you're going to bring it back down and bring your palm back towards you. So again, lift it up, turn your hand away from you and then bringing it back down so that your dumbbells are facing you again. And then same on the other side. Nice control here, lifting up, palm away, and then twisting it back towards your face. And that's the dumbbell alternating arm press. Okay everyone, the next exercise today is the dumbbell arm press. So to start off, we're gonna have our palms facing our body, and then from there, we're gonna lift up and twist out. So lifting up, and then twisting, and then bring them together at the top, and then they're gonna twist as they come back down. So again, if you start facing your body, you're gonna push up and twist out, bring them together, and then bring them back down, and twist back towards your face. And that's the dumbbell arm press. press. Okay, everyone, the next exercise today is the bent over lateral raises. So to do this, we're gonna to have to lean forward. So bringing your chest down towards your knees, keeping your back nice and flat. And from there, you're gonna have your arms slightly bent. And we're just gonna be lifting up to the sides until they're in parallel with the floor, and then you're gonna bring them back down. So it's lifted up, parallel with the floor, and then control them as they're coming back down towards your legs. And that's the bent over lateral raise. Hey everyone, the next exercise today is a dumbbell curtsy lunge. So to start off, you're going to start with your legs hip width apart and we're going to step our foot back and out to the side. So you're going to take your weight onto your heel, so stepping back and out to the side, drop down onto your toes and then you're going to squeeze and lift as you stand up. So it's a big step back. So you feel it in the hips and onto the side of the glutes and squeeze and lift as you come back up. So one more time, drop your knee down, squeeze and lift back to the centre. And that's the dumbbell curtsy lunge. Okay everyone, the next exercise today is a bicep curl. So you're going to need two dumbbells for this exercise. So you're going to start off by squeezing your elbows into your waist with your arms by your side in parallel. And from there you're going to squeeze and lift your bicep as you lift your arms all the way up until they're in line with your shoulders and then you're going to control as you come back down. And then you're going to squeeze and lift up to the top and then you're coming back down. So the more you can squeeze your bicep while you're doing this exercise, the more benefit you're going to get from it. And that's the bicep curl. Okay everyone, the next exercise today is the dumbbell bent over row. So to start off, you're going to start with your legs hip width apart, slight bend in your knees, you're going to push your chest out, pull your shoulder blades back, and from there you're going to be hinging from your hips. So nice flat back, you're going to lean forward, coming all the way down until your dumbbells are almost in line halfway through your shins. And from there you're going to be pulling up and squeezing into your shoulder blades. So keep your elbows tight, lift up, squeeze and then control it back down. Making sure that you're looking down towards the floor just to keep your neck nice and neutral. So lift it up, squeeze into your shoulder blades and then control them back down towards the floor. And that's the dumbbell bent over row. Okay everyone, the next exercise today is the 
flat dumbbell chest press. So to start off with this, you're going to sit in front of a step box, grab your dumbbells, and then you're going to lie back so that your shoulders and your head are on the step box and just raise your hips up off the floor. And from there, you're going to take your hands to the outside of your chest. And then we're going to push them both up at the same time and bring them together. So we're lifting up and then control them as they come back down. So you're going to really squeeze into your chest at the top and then control as they come back down to the outside of your chest. And that's the dumbbell flat bench press. Okay everyone, the next exercise today is the flat dumbbell flies. So to start off, you're just going to lie down. One dumbbell in each hand. We're now going to raise the dumbbells above our chest and make sure you drag and lock your elbows. So, slight bend in your elbows the whole time and you're just going to lock that in place. From there, your arms are now going to drop out towards the side at the same time. So, slowly controlling them down, bring them all the way down until you feel the stretch in your chest and then you're going to raise them back up. So, you're making sure that your arms are moving at the same time and you're keeping your elbows nice and locked in that position the whole time keeping your fingers around the dumbbells at all times as well. And that's the dumbbell flat flat. Hey everyone, the next exercise today is dumbbell front raises. So to start off, you have a slight bend in your elbows and bring your dumbbells together. From there, you're going to raise them up until you're parallel to the floor and then you're going to control them as they're coming back down. So it's raising up, then parallel to the floor and then controlling them all the way back down. And that's the dumbbell front raises. Everyone, the next exercise today is the front squat. So to start off, we're going to start with our legs hip width apart, feet slightly out to the side. We're going to have our arms starting off by our sides and we're going to curl them up towards our chest so that our palms are facing our body. So making sure that your elbows directly underneath your wrists we're ready to start, so we're going to wait onto our heels, dropping your bum down until we're parallel with the floor. So dropping down, nice flat back, and then squeeze and lift to the top. So again, weight back, always make sure your weight's on your heels and you're sitting back into it. And then from the side of you, legs out with the part and your feet out to the side. Weight onto your heels, bring your bum down until we're parallel with the floor. Squeeze and lift coming back up. So nice and flat back, keeping your chest up the whole time. And that's the dumbbell front squat. Okay everyone, the next exercise today is the dumbbell goblet squat. So to start off, we're going to hold the dumbbell in a kite. So you're going to bring your hands underneath, making sure you wrap your thumbs fully around the dumbbell and then you're going to bring it into your chest. From there you're going to step your legs hip width apart, your feet slightly out to the side. And we're going to be squatting down until we're parallel with the floor and then coming back up. So squatting down, weight onto your heels and then squeeze and lift into your glutes as well. So weight onto your heels and then standing back up. So from the side view, legs hip width apart and your feet out to the side. Coming down with a nice flat back until your right hand goes to the floor and then coming back up. And again, you want to make sure you're squeezing your glutes as you stand up to the top. And that's the goblet squat. Everyone, the next exercise today is dumbbell good mornings. So to start off this exercise, you're going to bring your dumbbells up as if you're doing a shoulder press. And then we're going to go side on. So you're going to keep your knees soft, but they're going to be locked straight in place. And from there, we're going to be coming bowing forward, pushing your bum out. So chest that shoulder blades back. Keep your legs nice and straight. Bring yourself forward, hinging from the hips. Come down until you're parallel with the floor, you can feel the stretch in your hamstrings and then coming back up. So it's nice flat back, straight legs coming down and then coming back up. And that's the dumbbell good morning. Okay everyone, the next exercise today is a hammer curl, so you need two dumbbells for this. So to start off, your hands are going to face each other and you're going to bring them by your side with your elbows tucked tightly into your waist. And from there, you're going to squeeze your bicep and lift up. So squeeze and lift until you, the front of the dumbbell comes up to touch your shoulder. And then you're going to control as it comes back down. So we're going to squeeze and lift up to the top. And then relax, but still controlling on the way back down. And that's the hammer curl. The next exercise today is dumbbell lateral raise. So to do this, we're going to 
start with your arms by your side. And you want to bend your arms slightly and then lock your arms in place. And from there, we're just going to lift our arms up towards the ceiling. And once your arms are parallel with the ground, you're going to control them as they come back down. So keeping that bend in your elbow the whole time, lift up. And then you control the moments to come back down towards the floor. And that's the lateral basics. And the next exercise today is the Pele squat. So to start off, we're going to start with our legs hip width apart and your feet slightly up to the side. You're going to take hold of the dumbbell with two hands, making sure your fingers and hands are fully wrapped around it. And you're going to bring your arms tight into your body. So from there, we're going to keep your chest up, the weight onto our heels, we're going to drop down into your squat and then squeeze and lift in at your glutes as you come standing back up. So weight onto your heels, chest up and then squeeze and lift. So we're coming down to a parallel with the floor and then standing back up. So side of you, legs hit with the park, weight feet slightly out to the sides and then we're going bum down, weight on your heels, keeping your chest up and your back nice and flat. Again, weight on your heels and then squeeze and lift to the top. And that's the Peely squat. Everyone, the next exercise today is the dumbbell pullover. So to start off, you need to make sure that you've got a kite grip. So you're going to put your hands underneath with your palms facing up towards the ceiling. From there, you're then going to lie back. Making sure that your head's in a comfortable position. Bring your shoulders back onto the step box and from there we're going to raise our arms up above our chest. Making sure that there's a slight bend in your elbows and then you're going to walk your arms in that position. From there you're just going to drop your arms back down behind your head until you start to feel the stretch. And then you're going to bring the weight back up until it's back over your face again and you can see it. So it's dropping down, making sure you're keeping your elbows nice and walked in that position the whole time and then lift the dumbbell back up until you can see the dumbbell again. And that's the dumbbell pull. 